Today we're going to talk about how to use the MDI with the aero chamber. This particular aero chamber is a flow view, it's a type of spacer. This technique is valid for all of these smaller spacers, so it doesn't really matter if it's the flow view, if it's not an aero chamber, the te general technique will be the same. I'm going to go through two different techniques that the literature has shown to be effective and I'm going to talk you through which one is my preference. So the first thing you would do is shake your inhaler because we know that that mixes the propellant and the drug together and take your lid off. And then you're going to take your lid off your spacer so you're ready to go. You can just twist that round like that. I'm going to check that there's nothing in the inhaler and that it's in date. And then I'm going to put that and seal that into the spacer. You then deliver your dose into the spacer. You can do that with your mouth being sealed or you can do that before because actually it will hold the drug for a little while in the canister. So it's got um, a valve inside that it's not gonna just disperse out. So if you've got dexterity issues and you find it really hard to hold the inhaler and press it at that angle, you could just press it in a different way, however it works for you and pop the dose into the spacer. Then you need to make sure you get a good seal around the mouthpiece. And this particular one with the flow view has a little flap here. So if this isn't moving, then you've not got a good enough seal. You're not getting any air flow in and out to actually draw the drug into your lungs. You need to remember that this inhaler fires the drug very fast and you only need to slowly inhale that drug as deep down as you can into your lungs. The research has shown that there's no difference between one inhalation and a 10 second up to 10 second hold or two to three quiet inhalations if you're unable to hold your breath or do that larger breath. So it's whatever really works for the patient. And that's two to three breaths in and out with per puff. And then you wait 30 seconds after each puff to allow the canister to return to room temperature to make sure that it's a gas that you're inhaling and not the liquid. So you're gonna do your shake, press in, dose, exhale, Or you're going to do your shake, pop your dose in, and three breaths. And you're done. Make sure you finish off by putting all your caps back on everything and you're all good to go. The way to clean these aero chambers is nicer than the older style of the aero chamber because you can actually take this end off which you can't do with the older style. So you remove both ends so you just peel off that plastic cap and with this plastic end here you just give it a little turn to the left anti-clockwise and it comes off and then you take the cap away and that can go in the top rack of a dishwasher as long as it's on sort of the uh, lowest temperature wash. Um, or just warm soapy water, so leaving it in the sink for a few minutes and then giving it a little stir around. You can use a soft cloth just to wipe the inside, but nothing abrasive. You don't want to cause any tiny little scratches where bacteria can get in and actually then you're inhaling that. You should get them replaced every 12 months and you should wash them weekly. When you put it back together, you just need to line up your sections. So this little bit here lines up with this little gap and then the nodule here lines up and you're good to go.